Welcome back to the channel where we are continuing work on the BMW 530i Project E39. In the previous video, we serviced the Vano system at the front of the engine. In today's video, we're going to be replacing the CCV system along with a few other components while we're in there. Now, if this is your first experience with Project E39, be sure to check the link in the description of this video to see the entire project series from the very beginning. Now to see what all we're going to be taking on in this video, let's go over to the bench and see the parts we have to work with. The main component we're going to be replacing in this video is the CCV system. And that system is made up of a bunch of components, starting with this valve here and going on to these four lines that feed into it. And these are all kind of plastic lines and over time they become brittle and crack and cause a massive vacuum leak. But more importantly, this system, especially if you drive a lot of short trips, can become clogs and no longer perform like it should. And when that happens, it can cause excessive oil consumption. So it's a good idea to replace this as just a matter of course. Now, my car only has 60,000 miles on it, but because it's experienced a lot of short trips, I think that my system is beginning to get clogged up. So it's just a good idea for me to go through and replace it. Now, as we're getting in there, you have to remove quite a few components, which I've already done in previous video, but there's still some more things I have to remove, such as the oil filter housing. As part of removing that, it's a good idea to replace this gasket because this is another common oil leak. So that's the oil filter housing gasket. Also be replacing the throttle body gasket, the dipstick tube gasket there. I'm gonna be replacing the Venos oil feed line Doing all this work is a prime opportunity to do the oil change that this car needs. So I've got some Liquimali 5W40 oil over here, as well as a new oil filter and oil filter seal and drain plug gasket. So we've got an assortment of parts here to allow us to do the job we are setting out to do in this video. So let's get started. So this right here is the oil filter housing gasket, and this is a very common leak point on any M54 engine. And it's just because the rubber gets old, hard, and very compressed. You can see that it basically does not protrude at all from the casting, which means if this ever even gets remotely hard, then you're gonna get a leak there. And there was a leak um, on my car, as you could see all the oil I had to clean up. So. Once you get to this stage, it's really easy to replace. Just get a pick and kind of pry it out of there. So it's pretty stiff. 
That's a good indication that it was on its way out. See how this one sits proud of the casting just a little bit so that it can actually seal up against the side of the engine. With the CCV system out of the car, we can now compare the old one versus the new one. So the main thing that I'm concerned about is the CCV uh, separator valve right here. So again, as a car is driven short trips, um, it gets a lot of condensation inside of the engine and mixes it with the oil, which inevitably ends up clogging this thing, causing all kinds of running issues. It's going to be hard to see on the camera, but this is full of that kind of milkshakey looking stuff. So I can only imagine on the inside of this, it's very clogged up and definitely on its way out. And here's the new one. So you'll notice an obvious difference between these two, and it's not actually a real mechanical difference, it's just a cosmetic difference, and it's that this car is equipped with what's called the cold weather version of the CCV system. So basically all the pipes and the, the separator itself have jackets on them, kind of keep the parts insulated, helps maintain the heat inside of them so that you don't get this kind of gumming up as easily. But... Um, honestly, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. However, I can transfer this foam jacket over to this valve without having to have purchased the cold, uh, cold weather version of this because it is considerably more expensive to do that. The hoses, I'm not going to worry about. The, the standard hoses, this one already has a jacket. The rest of these are just exposed plastic pipes. I don't think it's going to make any difference at all. But I'll transfer this one over. You just transfer it over by pulling off these O-rings. Kind of hold these halves together. You can see that most of these o-rings have broken off fallen off so pretty simple once you do that and there you go there's no point in purchasing the cold weather kit if your car already has been fitted with a cold weather kit now one thing that's very important before you install this is to cap this vacuum line i don't know if there's any variants of the m54 that utilize this vacuum nipple right here but my car doesn't so before you put that cold weather jacket on transfer over this cap if you don't do that you'll have one massive vacuum leak and you won't know where it came from All right, so that is the jacket transferred over. Got some new O-rings kind of securing that in place. And that's ready to go back in the car, as well as the rest of these pipes. Let's do it.
So there we are, the CCV system is now installed and most of the intake track is now installed as well. Lots of parts have been replaced, lots of things have been cleaned up and we're on our way to fully refreshing the engine and this engine bay. So that's exciting progress. Look how clean everything looks. That is a result for sure. I really like this aluminum uh, F pipe that was offered with the CCV kit that I got. It replaces that brittle plastic F fitting as a preventative measure. And that oil filter housing. Now that it's all cleaned up, this looks really, really clean. So that's all there is for this video. In the next video, we will be taking on refreshing the cooling system, basically replacing every component in the cooling system, at least everything forward of the engine. So be on the lookout for that video here soon. And until then, we'll see you all again next time.